Is this the best headlight on the market? Let's take a closer look. Okay, I got this Crosstrail 5 from Silver and they are from Sweden. So it's a reputable company. They've been around for a long time and uh, they make really good gear. Now there are more after the 5. I think it goes up to 7 I think. Is it worth it to get those or can you just stick with the 5? Let's take a closer look and you can decide for yourselves. Okay, so here's the box that the uh, Silver Crosstrail 5 comes in. Let's open it up. Okay, so we've got some brackets here as well that you mount on your uh, helmet. Uh, you can mount it on your bike handles as well, so you could use it as a, uh, a headlight for your bike. We've got some, uh, like a gasket here, like a rubbery gasket, so you can put underneath your little mount. Alright, you've got your manuals and uh, more gaskets and shows you everywhere that you could put it, like on your handlebars of your bike or in your helmet. And here's the star of the show. Now firstly, let's go through the battery pack. It's got this Velcro strap on it, so if you do decide to put this on your bike, then you can strap this battery pack to your bike as well. You open it up, uh, there's a little lever here, just push it back and you open it up, and you've got four AA batteries. It all feels really good and durable. So as it says on the box, it's a cross-trail uh, headlight. Now uh, it is quite bright, it's 500 looms, and they're true looms, so it always helps to have more light anyway, okay? Especially if you're doing things at night, like uh, hiking or camping or running, if you're a night runner. Uh, yeah, so for, for security reasons as well, it's always good to have bright light. And to light your surrounding area as well, so you know where you're running and you can see everything clearly. Now there are headlights out there, right, with higher looms, but at the end of the day, 500 is plenty, and it's very, very strong too, and they're true looms as, as well, so you will get a really nice bright light from this. I think 500 looms is perfect for a headlight. Now the light in the front does swirl. Now the uh, back of it, it does have a little like a rubbery strip now that's really good to have because it grips really well all right let's go through the modes now the first one is the the full mode the brightest the second one is you just push it in just hold it just for a second or half a second and it'll go lower and then lower again and then strobe and then back to light so again you hold it in just a little bit it goes lower then lower again, then stroke. Now to turn it off, you just hold it in, and it turns off. Now you've got a little indication light here, and that should turn off soon. Okay, so before we go on, here's a quick word from me. Just quickly, if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. It helps me out and it helps the channel grow. I really appreciate it. So the modes that it has, three main modes and the strobe light. So you have your maximum, your medium, and your minimum modes. So the looms on this is 500 looms. On medium is 250. And on the minimum mode, which is the lower setting, is 80 looms. The light distance on the maximum is 130 meters. On the medium is 80 meters. And on the minimum, which is the lowest one, is 50. Now for the battery life, they give us indications in the manual of uh, the temperatures outside, so they go by the temperatures, so if it's below 5 below 0 Celsius, it's 4 hours at maximum, 10 hours at the medium level, and 70 hours on the lowest level, or the lowest brightness. If it's above 20 degrees, it's 6 hours on the maximum, 12 hours on the medium, and 90 hours on the minimum. So it is quite a bright light, So, but the good thing about it is that you can take it off and put it on your handlebars of your bike as well, or on your helmet, so it's versatile. So I'll show you how to take it off. From where the wire is, you push down and out. And then you can mount it on your brackets that they've included in the box. And to put it back, just put it back in the, and slip it back up and it locks in there and it's, and it's pretty safe, it's not going anywhere. It is water resistant. I don't know if I said that before. You could certainly wear this when you're riding your bike in the rain or you're running in the rain. So no problems at all. So that's basically it. Let's head back up. Okay, so what did you think of this Cross Trail 5? Links to this product will be in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching this review and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. And until next time, stay awesome. Woohoo!